Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I wanna talk about the difference between folate and folic acid because I think it's really important for us to understand that these are very different compounds. Now folate and folic acid are different types of B9. Now folate is naturally occurring in our foods, whereas folic acid is man-made synthetic. And what happens is that folic acid lacks a methyl group. And this is actually very significant. Now folate gets converted into the active form within the digestive tract. So it gets converted into 5-MTHF is the active form of folate. And it's able to do that conversion in our digestive tract because it has this methyl group. Whereas folic acid is, it lacks that methyl group and is it's not easily converted into that active form. Now in order for folic acid to be converted into a methylated active folate, so where it's actually beneficial for the body, it needs multiple functional genes and multiple functional enzyme pathways and it needs all of the proper cofactors in order for that to happen. Now because we're not effectively able to metabolize folic acid into methylated folate, then we end up with a high amount of unmetabolized folic acid in the blood. And the challenge with this is that this can cause a number of different problems within our system. It can increase our rates of cancer. It can lead to an undetected B12 deficiency. And with this undetected, untreated B12 deficiency, this can increase our risk of dementia and it can also lead to problems in terms of our nerve function and we can have impaired nerve function from these B12 deficiencies. This can lead to a pseudo MTHF deficiency. It can lead to a functional folate deficiency. So overall, this folic acid can actually be harmful to our systems. Now folate plays a very important role in terms of how our bodies function, but when we start to see levels of folate decrease in our population, what we see is we see a higher amount of miscarriages, we also see a higher amount of birth defects. So this is another reason that folate is very important in our diet. And the ways that we could be taking in natural forms of folate will be from some of the sources in our food supply. So this can be from asparagus to avocados to Brussels sprouts. We could find it in, um, we can also find it in spinach, in our green leafy vegetables, in lettuce. And you can also find it in organ meats like liver, ideally grass-fed animals. And this could be a great source of folate. And the other way is that you could also be supplementing with folate, but you wanna be getting folate in a form that is bioavailable. So you either wanna get folinic acid or you wanna be taking in a folate in a methylated form. So it's really bioavailable for us to be able to absorb. And you wanna be avoiding anything that has folic acid. 
So these are a lot of the processed foods will be fortified with folic acid. And you also want to be avoiding any supplements that contain folic acid. So all of this is really important to understand the key differences between folate, which is a natural form of B9 and folic acid, which we want to be avoiding, which is the synthetic form of this B9. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that all made sense for you and you really start to understand the difference and are able to read the labels and make sure that you avoid all of that folic acid that is often in our foods because it says it's fortified with folic acid and we think that's a healthy thing, but really we want to be staying away from all of that synthetic folic acid and make sure that we're just consuming the natural form of it, which is folate. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.